the 87 Breeders' Cup Classic, of course, had the 86 Kentucky Derby winner and the 87 Kentucky Derby. Was that not the first time that had happened, right? It was the first time in Breeders' Cup history that two Kentucky Derby winners faced each other. You had Ferdinand, of course, who won the Kentucky Derby in 86 with Bill Shoemaker, 54 years old, becoming the oldest jockey ever to win the Derby for Charlie Whittingham, not a young guy himself. And look at that. The next year in 87, Ali Sheba nearly goes down when Bet Twice comes out into him. Ali Sheba wins it. So they hook up together in the Breeders' Cup Classic, the return to Hollywood Park in 87. And who are you taking going into this? And be honest. I thought Ali Sheba was going to win it, actually. Uh, Fer Ferdinand had started off the year dull. I think, think he lost his first six races. He had kind of come along at the end of the season, but uh, I was an Ali Sheba fan that year, I think. Let's go to it. The 1987 Breeders' Cup Classic, and they're in line, and away they go. Once again at Hollywood Park, this thing would start and, and continue a very good rivalry between these two. Angelucci and Candy's Gold moving together on the lead. The opening quarter went to 23 flat, 46 and 2 for the half. Those two are still going at it. Good command kept close to them toward the inside. He's a Saros running third. And Ferdinand now has asked for more run. He'll need racing room though. He's on the inside fifth. Skywalker is alongside him. And now Ali Sheba begins the row from the back of the pack. And the fleet has dropped back. There's a half mile to run in this Breeders Cup Classic. And it is Candy's goal toward the inside. Judge Angelucci and Ferdinand to pick him up now on the outside third. Good command is putting in his run toward the rail. Skywalker is still in it. He's only three lengths off the lead. And Ali Sheba continues to pick him up on the outside with a dramatic run toward the leaders. They are at the corner pole here at Hollywood Park. And it is Judge Angelucci on the outside. Kenny's going toward the rail. Ferdinand and Ali Sheba coming on from the outside. Good command is in behind horses. They're less than a four and out. Judge Angelucci desperate. Ferdinand right there. Ali Sheba on the outside. Ferdinand, Judge Angelucci. Two late runners. What'd you see? That, that was too close. It, it was almost too close to call, as you see him hit the wire. The jockeys each thought they had lost. Shoemaker on Ferdinand, Chris McCarron on Ali Sheba. As they were galloping out, they said, let's save. So they wound up as 135,000 winner share to the jockey. They wound up saving for 10,000 so that the loser wouldn't go home broke. Well, they didn't go home broke, but they would at least get something. And uh, just a few moments later, they put up Ferdinand, the winner by a nose. And you saw Mr. Whittingham in that picture as well there. Yeah, Charlie, of course, one of the all-time great trainers, passed away last year. But uh, Sunday Silence, out of all the horses that he trained, probably because it was his last great one, is the one that he's right now known the most for. Now, this rivalry would really not be settled until the next year. We're not going to get to that right now. But when we come back from Louisville celebrating the Breeders' Cup, 17th renewal of the Breeders' Cup, we're coming back real soon to Louisville on the ESPN Classic Roadshow.